Hello. Hey, oh, okay. That's how it works. <laughs> um, Hello. Thanks for doing this uh, Instagram thanks. live. How, thanks for how having me. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> um, I'm doing okay. Good. Um, Felicia, why don't you tell me how your uh, how your quarantine's been going? Uh, things are starting to open up soon. Church is starting to develop a plan to come back. Caitlin says, "Is hi." Hi, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what have you been um, doing during this entire time? I I know you got some school plans that that happened. Yeah, um, I I think when quarantine first happened, or like when we were sent home, I was actually still working. And yeah. I was working at a toy company um, in their R&D department. So super different from like healthcare or anything that I'm doing right now. But um, yeah, and then I resigned and then I started school in May. And so that's what I've just been doing, um, online school and um yeah, that's about it. And ministry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, congrats on that online school. I know you were kind of uh, waiting for that for a little while. Were you excited? Um, or was it or were you kind of like, Oh, man, I have to do this like, during the pandemic of my life? Uh, that was definitely a consideration, like considering, you know, the first um, trimester for sure won't be um, like in person. So I was thinking of costs or like, if I should just wait it out until next term. But um, I think I was just excited to get in. And I knew this was a door that got opened, um, and that I was waiting for for um, a while. So um, yeah, I actually got the news and I like, checked my email during work. And then I saw that I got in and it was during a meeting. So I couldn't really react. <laughs> but it was just really like, um, I don't know, just reminding me of God's faithfulness and goodness in opening that door. So yeah, I just took the opportunity. Yeah, totally. And we've been praying for you too. Like I know in, you. in our emails, you know, you've been you've been requesting that. And so it's, it's honestly kind of nice to know that God really does answer prayers, even though the world is like falling apart. God still has his own individual plans for us personally too you know and so it's it's awesome to to see you do that congrats again thank mm. you yeah he's really Fel good yeah um felicia i wanted to ask you like how has church been for you uh doing the whole online thing i guess we could cover a couple things like you've been coming to high school sunday school still you taught today um but yeah why, why don't you just tell me like how online church has been going for you it's been, I think, going as well as it can. <laughs> and um, although it is a lot different, like not seeing people in person and like worshiping together in person, I think there's just something really special about that. Um, but I think through like connecting through like online platforms and using Zoom and not really having to like leave your house um, has its own blessings with it too. And I think specifically, like, something I saw in our GAP small group um, was that our girls started, or I don't know if some, I think some of them are watching, so I'm going <laughs> to, well, um, <laughs> not saying anything bad. They're really good. Right, right, yeah. Um, they have been inviting their friends out to come, and I think it's just a lot easier to do that, like, logistically, because um, you can just, you know, sign on to Zoom or like the video conference so um that's been a really cool thing to see and um yeah it's just interesting to i guess see how like the church body online can still serve each other and like grow together mm -hmm. um and i think like the way that i am like hopeful about it is that you know this isn't this isn't um permanent it's temporary and god will open a door for us to like worship together in person again so it's been good mm. yeah yeah um i want to talk about sunday school today how do you feel teaching an online sunday school lesson um it was different for sure um i think uh i did feel kind of flustered afterwards because I think one, because of the topic, it's such a um, 
sensitive topic. Um, and it's, it's interesting, uh, I guess, teaching on an online platform, because I usually like feed off of the rest of the classes, like feedback or like their vibe that they send back. And so um, I can react in that way, or like maybe alter my lesson in some way or the way that I'm um, articulating it in a certain way. But uh, it's just different. Like I can't get those like signals um, online. Um, so it was a little bit tough, but um, it was still good. I think um, I'm glad that we can still meet over Zoom and have these meetings every Sunday. It's a really good time. Yeah. And I thought you did great. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, I, I mean, we have the video from, from Zoom, right? So I'll upload it privately and I'll let you watch it. But yeah, just, just encouragement for you, Felicia. I, did, I think you did great. And um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, it, it is hard. It's hard to do things online. And like, honestly, like you're a new teacher too. And so for you to have to like roll the punches on this, I think, I think you did, you did great. Um, great. Yeah, yeah. And you put um, me first. <laughs> Why did you put me first I, if I'm the newest? I, I feel that like it's the best way for you to do it, you know, just, just get Felicia out there, let her get her feet wet, you know, and then she'll learn how to swim. And, and you did, you, you swam perfectly. And so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And plus that, that way it, it lets me learn from your mistakes. So that way when I teach, then I feel better. Mm, okay. <laughs> well, whatever. Um, <laughs> right. um, whatever you did get a, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. We did get a submitted question for you, Felicia. And um, they want to know what your favorite Bible verse is so why don't you share that to everybody yes um it's psalm 13 5 to 6 uh oh, wow. I'm, I'm going to actually just look it up really quickly because i don't that, want that's to fine. mess it up right right, right. um <laughs> but um specifically for this verse i think um, okay well i'll just read it it says yeah. but i have trusted in your steadfast love my heart shall rejoice in your salvation and I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. And um, I usually turn to this verse when um, actually both in like times of joy and like when I feel kind of defeated because um, it does remind me of um, God's faithfulness and it like encourages me to just rejoice in his salvation and in what Christ did on the cross and that always kind of just like re like helps me recoup and like bring me back to like the gospel um and then to like respond with praise um because of that so i know it's like only two verses but um yeah it just like packs all of that in for me in that way yeah no that's a great verse how long has that been your favorite verse for I would say maybe since like senior year of college, not too long. Yeah, but, that's um, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess that this is a good, good way to, to kind of end the conversation. Um, do you have any words of encouragement to uh, any of the young adults that are listening uh, or, you know, anybody younger or older uh, in light of what's going on in the world? Um, yeah, whether that's with, uh, you know, the changes that you had to go through in your personal life or with ministry. Yeah, and just any general words of encouragement for anybody who's listening. Mm, I think, mm, well, I, I'm pretty new at adulting, but I would say that um, to just <clears throat> surrender, um, surrender everything to God every day. And I think that's like an active, like, like it's like an act of really surrendering and recognizing that God is sovereign over everything and that, yeah, like he is still working, even though it seems like the world is like falling apart, but he's still in control. And um, I think those reminders and also um, one thing I do try to do every day is like remind myself of the gospel because it does bring everything into perspective, but also just like help remind us of why we are trying to get through this type of season or like um 
I guess the encouragement found in the gospel is just, it just surpasses any type of like mountain of fear or like problem that we have in the current moment. So yeah, I think that's my encouragement. Yeah, that's so good. Wise words, Felicia. Thanks so much for sharing them with us and thanks for doing this quick Instagram live. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. Okay, sounds good. Thank you for having me. (laughs) Bye, Felicia. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye.